We are jumping back into our My Career and we've seen what we can do with this scoring machine build. So far, I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm not lacking anything. We got the defense, we got the offense, we got the shooting, we got the passing, and we got the dribble. So right now I'm gonna upgrade my speed a little bit. We are still at an, eight, at an 81 overall, but we're getting pretty close to jumping up past that. Uh, eventually we'll get up to an 82 pretty soon. Now we do got some badge upgrades to use once again. So for our finishing badges, I'm quickly just gonna go ahead and put one in pro touch. So we have some better finishing. For my shooting, I'm gonna go ahead and put one in corner specialist, and I'm also gonna put one in dead eye. So we can knock down three balls despite having somebody close out on us. Shouldn't affect us as much anymore. For my playmaking badges, I'm gonna go ahead and get my quick first step up to silver. And that is my one silver badge. This badge is very, very important for my build. I need it. We only have eight upgrades for that trait, so we better get those in. Now for my defensive upgrade, I'm gonna go ahead and put one in tireless defender. And that's what our badges are currently looking like. If you have any other recommendations for where I should put my badges, please let me know in the comments below. So currently we're averaging 28.1 28 points per game, excuse me, eight rebounds and six assists per game. Looking pretty good as we got this game coming up against the Lakers. So this is a nice little matchup for us because the Lakers, they're 12 and two. And we're like, I think we're like 14 and three or something like that. We, we have pretty similar records. So it's a good chance for us to see how good we really are. As early on in this first quarter, I'm still coming off the bench, man. I'm expecting to get into that starting lineup sooner than later because we have been absolutely rolling these teams as JaVale McGee is going to fade away and knock it down. Okay, JaVale, where'd that come from? Up by three points here. I got myself a deep three ball and I'm missing that one as the Lakers grab the rebound off to a bit of a cold start as I'm taking the screen right here. I'm going to find my man cutting to the rim. Basically again, that one to drop in as we move into the second quarter still down by two points now the lakers are missing lebron james and that means i could go off i don't gotta worry about lebron guarding me as we knock down our first three of the game caruso goes to the lane there he would miss his midi pull up you see me leaking down low let me find my big man cutting to the rim we're picking up our second assist of the game now they're gonna fade away again i don't know what it is with javel mcgee and fading away with these deep fades but it is not his game as the boy's gonna take it to the rim easy buckets picking up my 12 points of the game you can see we went on a bit of a run here we're up by seven points as i'm taking another screen finding my big man rolling to the rim so i might as well lob him up got the ball got myself a little mismatch i'm gonna call stephen adams for another pick and roll and guess what we throw in another lob up me and stephen adams man we have that connection don't we now we're moving into the third quarter. As you can see, the Lakers, they will tighten this game up once again. 56 to 52. Thankfully, Shea hit that big three ball. And we're playing some big defense as Anthony Davis not able to get one that one to go in. I got the ball in my hands one more time. I am putting on every move I can on Pope. This man had no hope of stopping me. And yes, throwing down some bars right now as Anthony Davis takes it to the rim right there you can see still a two-point game and this is the lakers without lebron imagine how strong they're going to be with lebron when we play them again later on in the season currently up by four points as i'm going to the rim one more time picking up an and one bucket they're putting people on me that i know cannot guard me like danny green come on now as steven adams rolls to the rim one more time finding my big man time and time again but not only my bigs i'm finding dorts for a nice three ball they're sending double teams over to me and i'm gonna make them pay as i'm going to the rim pulling down a little baby reverse right there i was expecting it something a little bit more thunderous a little bit more impressive but we'll take that as well ad going up with that one that one gets blocked as well somehow my interior defenders have shut down ad and your boy's getting loose in transition and putting it down with two hands take a look at this beautiful finish right there so this lakers game i didn't expect it to go into our favor as much as, as it has but we are getting so many lucky like attempts we should have turned that ball over instead we come up with it and we get a nice little two-hander to drop in up by 15 points by myself wide open drilling that three ball as we go up by 18 points now i got my takeover so it's only right that i got the ball in my hands right i'm just looking for a real good look we get exactly what we wanted wide open look and we are drilling 
that one as we are now up by 19 points. You can see the Lakers paying a lot of attention to me on defense. We are making them pay by finding my teammates open time and time again as Steven Adams rolls to the rim off that double team and these buckets are coming a little bit too easily. 105 to 84, I'm gonna roll to the rim right here, get another easy one. And for your sake and my sake, Let's go ahead and jump into another game. This time we got the Golden State Warriors on tab. And you know what? I'm starting out by putting up a three ball and getting a green light. That's exactly how I want to start out. I'm guarding Andrew Wiggins in this one. He is my matchup. And it's not going to be easy. I know Wiggins has to be a mobile defender, right? He has to slow me down every now and then. But you know what? I got another green light. That's right. Back to back green lights for your boy PSG. We are out here. I know you guys hate the jump shot. You don't, you guys don't love my jumper, I know, but you know what? It works for me, man. I have been hitting three balls so consistently. This midi's going to miss right here. Steven Adams working hard. I'm grabbing it, putting it back in. Another green light as we are all tied up over here in Golden State. I'm going to roll to the rim. You see the pay, they're paying too much attention to me. And Shea is wide open for a big time three ball to give us a three point lead. Got the ball in my hand one more time. I go inside to Steven Adams. He's going to miss, but... Steven Adams being super aggressive on the glass. But for real, though, having Steven Adams on this team as I get an and one bucket is like a cheat code. This man grabs every rebound, whether it's defensive or offensive rebound. He literally grabs every rebound. Somewhat ridiculous. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but your boy is finally in the starting lineup. That's right. We came out with Chris Paul and all the other starters. So now we have a chance to finally get our teams off to good leads before getting subbed out to the bench. As you can see here though, the Warriors are keeping this one very close. Thankfully, Steph Curry finally misses a layup. He has been killing us all game long. I'm rolling to the rim, little up fake right there. Got him up in the air and an easy bucket for me as we continue to add on to our point total as Chris Paul is gonna pull up and knock on a jumper of his own. Now, despite how hot we're playing, like we are not missing as I'm gonna go with a little reverse slam right there, but. The Warriors just kept it close throughout that first half. Unfortunately, basketball has two halves, and in the second half, I got subbed out. They subbed me back in. As you can see, the score has bloated into a major lead for us. We're currently up by 20 points, and Steph Curry can't get anything to go. He is just missing every three he puts up. I mean, we're getting really lucky this game, man. A little Euro step, a beautiful finish right there. Let's take a look at that again. What a fancy finish at the rim as we just continue to add it on. As I'm putting up a three ball, another green light. And I think the Warriors probably have had enough. I mean, you never know. It's the Warriors. They can get hot. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson. If they get hot, they make this comeback. I'm deleting my YouTube channel as we're currently up by 24 points. Wiggins is going to miss at the rim. That is just some good defense. That's what this build is capable of, man. I know it says I'm a scoring machine, but I can clamp up as well. I got gold clamps. I'm going to have a high perimeter defense rating. So trust me, this build can truly, truly do it all. So we're up 73 to 49 with five minutes left to go in this third quarter. And this game has blown out of control. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, why are all my games blowouts? I'm wondering that too. Have no fear. I am also questioning that as we get another green light right there. We've blown out the Bucks. We've blown out the Warriors. We've blown out the Lakers in that last game. So what is going on? What gives? Well, if I'm being completely honest, I'm currently playing on All-Star. So maybe that's why we are winning so badly. But I've already uh, boosted up the difficulty a little bit. We'll be playing on superstar in the upcoming videos but this is getting a little bit ridiculous right we are just rolling teams i haven't lost a single game that i've actually played and not simulated yet so i mean we'll get these dubs we'll get to the playoffs we'll win the nba championship if i keep it at this pace but we definitely will be souping up the difficulty a little bit because it's getting a little bit too easy man game junior what helped you find success on that end well uh Coach put together a great game plan for us, and uh, we were able to execute as a team. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more on the specifics of that game plan? Uh, well, Coach went through a lot of their sets with us, uh, both sides of the ball, so we were ready for some of the looks they threw at us. That was big for us. 
And with that, we walk away with this W against the Warriors. Let's take a look at the post-game performance. 29 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. Had that B-plus teammate grade. Definitely could do better than that. But as you can see, 19,000 my points, which is a little bit on the lower side. But we're getting closer and closer to that 89 overall mark. And we are continuing to get more badge points. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about this build. If you want to make a scoring machine, let me know. I can tell you how I made it. But so far, so good with this build. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, man. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.